Hello, it's Anna from Halftone Digital, and today I'm gonna to show you how I use screen recordings from my iPhone and iPad in Adobe XD prototypes. We're also gonna learn how to convert MOV files to MP4 files using Adobe Media Encoder, and then finally, how to edit some videos using Adobe Rush and then pop them into our XD prototypes. So let's get started. So this prototype here is a perfect example of why it's really useful to use screen recordings in XD prototypes. I'm creating this tutorial for my coworkers on how to make vector illustrations using Adobe Fresco, which is a drawing app. So I want to record my screen while I'm interacting with the canvas to be able to show them kind of step by step how they can create those. So I've already started this prototype here with the title screen, step one, step two. Step two, I've already included a screen recording showing them how I scroll through different brushes, open different folders. And then in step three, I'm gonna create a screen recording of myself adjusting brush settings. So I'm gonna hop over to my iPad and show you how I do a screen recording there. So now I'm on my iPad and I'm gonna go ahead and start that screen recording. Once I've started the screen recording, I can go in and do exactly what I was describing in the XD prototype. So I'm showing them how to adjust the size of their brush. I'm showing them the different smoothing options and maybe even adding a couple strokes here to show them smoothing at zero versus smoothing at 100. And again, these are some interactions that you wouldn't be able to mimic in Adobe XD. So it's really nice to have a screen recording. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop that screen recording and airdrop this video to my laptop. So now I've airdropped that screen recording to my laptop and I'm gonna save it to my downloads. And I've already set up my file to be ready to import this screen recording in here. So I have this video container, just a white rounded corner rectangle here. And then when I drag and drop the file, it should fill up that space where I have that rectangle. So I open this up and I take my video and I go ahead and try to drag it in there. Oh no, XD Sports MP4 H264 videos only. So you run into this problem a lot because sometimes if you edit the video on your iPad, for example, in this video, I trimmed the beginning and the end. So if you make any edits to it, it turns into an MOV file. Sometimes you don't run into this if you airdrop videos from your iPad to your laptop because it's already an MP4. But if you make any edits to it on your iPad, it's gonna be an MOV. And that's where Adobe Media Encoder comes in handy. So we're gonna open up Media Encoder. It should look like this. You're gonna take that MOV file, drag it in, and just drop it into this open space. Now the settings here have to be H.264, okay? You're gonna choose it here. H.264, don't ask me why. That's just what XD wants. Match source, high bit rate. Again, don't ask me why, that's just how it works. And then the output file, I'm choosing to save it to my downloads. So it says it's ready, hit play, and then it converts it for you. So converting it from the MOV file to the MP4 file. It's gonna save it to my downloads and then I should be able to drop it in. So we're gonna head back to XD, open up the downloads. There's my original MOV file. Here's the MP4. I'm gonna drag it in, voila, it works perfectly. So that's kind of that little extra step you have to take when you have an MOV file. So a little extra work, but pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And then now, as you can see, when I preview this, the video doesn't automatically start playing. So we're gonna go in and edit the playback here. You go here into your mask group, select your video, and then under the video settings, you're gonna change play on tap to play automatically because I just want this to start playing right when the um, viewer gets to the screen. Then I also want it to loop so that it starts back over from the beginning when it ends. One other thing I wanna do is mute it because I think that you can hear me tapping around on the screen recording. And then last thing is, if you want to trim it, you can. Um, I don't need to trim it, but you can do that here, which is super nice. I'm gonna save my settings here. And now when I go in to preview it, it should start playing automatically like that. So it's super easy to show my coworkers how to adjust their brush settings and kind of why it matters. Like for example, with the smoothing here, showing them less smooth versus more smooth, etc. Now for step four, we're gonna create the illustration. So I'm gonna make a screen recording of me doing the illustration on my iPad and then do the same thing, airdrop it back here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of video editing before we drop it into the file. I just finished the screen recording that I wanna place in this slide where I'm creating the actual illustration. So I airdropped it to my computer. I'm gonna to save to downloads. And now I wanna edit this screen recording. So I'm gonna open up Adobe Premiere Rush, create a new project. Drop in that file that I just downloaded and hit create. And from here, I'm gonna go in and remove some unwanted parts. So there's some parts that take kind of long or parts where I undo, for example, right here. I'm gonna hit this split your clip. 
I'm gonna split it right here. Then I'm just gonna delete that portion and it snaps back together. The other thing I wanna do is speed up the clip. So I'm gonna come in here, adjust the range speed and make it really fast because I want this to be a super quick time lapse of me doing the illustration. So both of those go down. I've cut down the time to about 12 seconds. And you can see it's this quick little time lapse showing how I create this illustration. The other thing I wanna do here is you can see that the top and bottom are cut off. That's just automatically what Premiere Rush does to the video. So I'm gonna go into the crop and rotate and hit fit so that we get that whole screen in there. Then I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna save it to my downloads and export. Now I'm gonna head back to my XD file, open up my downloads. Here's that video that I just created in Rush and drop it in. When I go to preview this, again, it doesn't start automatically. So I'm gonna to have to go into the editing, play automatically, and I wanna loop it. Now when I preview, it automatically shows the entire time-lapse of me creating the illustration. One additional thing that I like to do with these screen recordings is hide the fact that I'm actually screen recording. So I'm gonna take the rectangle tool and you can just put a rectangle over the top here like this. I'm gonna eye drop that color, take away the border, and then it just kind of hides that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna copy and paste that so that when I play this, you don't see that. Oh, you can see the edge there, but you don't see the recording little symbol. So it kind of just looks like I'm working on my iPad like normal. So now from the beginning to where we ended up, we have our title screen, a screenshot with step one. Step two, my coworkers can see how to look through their brushes. Step three, they can see how to adjust their brushes. And step four, they can see an actual illustration being created. And that's it. I hope this video was useful for anyone who's trying to put screen recordings in their Adobe XD prototypes, convert MOV files to MP4 files using Adobe Media Encoder, or easily edit their videos using Adobe Rush. I think that's it. I'm signing off. Peace out, y'all.